So stem cells are in the mainstreams. Whenever you see some topic in Time Magazine, you know you've made the big time. So there's this new uh, subspecialty called regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine comes in two flavors. The first flavor is uh, called tissue engineering. You take cells, you put them in a biological matrix, and you surgically implant them to either uh, uh, cure a problem or, or generate a new tissue. Uh, I'm not going to talk very much about that. I'll talk a little bit about it. But what I want to talk about is this other kind of regenerative medicine. This regenerative medicine dates back to the Greeks, to the god Prometheus, uh, was a god who angered the other gods. And every day, the other gods sent a bird of prey to eat one of his organs. Luckily, they chose liver which has a very high innate regenerative potential. But let me tell you that all of you uh, are regenerating body parts as we speak. So how do we control and organize the regenerative potential uh, that you innately have uh, to provide medical care? And, and this is a perfect example, is every second, 15 million blood cells in your body drop dead and are perfectly replaced without you even smiling. So while I said that sentence, a couple of hundred million cells drop dead and were perfectly replaced. That's your innate regenerative potential. And that's because it, on the left side of the slide, you see there's a, a cell in your bone marrow called the hemopoietic stem cell, and it gives rise to all of your blood, circulating blood cells. If you lose your hemopoietic stem cell, you will die. You will drop dead because all of the other blood cells will die as is properly scheduled for those cells. So I've suggested that there's another stem cell in bone marrow, which I've called the mesenchymal stem cell. And this is a hypothesis slide that I fabricated uh, in the late 1980s. You, you have to, most of the people are too young to remember that in medical school, when I went to medical school, we were taught that there is one stem cell in your entire body when you're born, and that's the hemopoietic stem cell. When you, your brain will have all the neurons you possibly can have, and because of all of the drinking of red wine, you're gonna kill many of those neurons, and that's called aging. And it turns out uh, the same was true for heart. So heart, when you're born, you have a certain number of cardiac myocytes, and they either get bigger or smaller, but they never change number. That's wrong. Uh, even Neil Reardon has neural stem cells in his brain. Even Neil has uh, stem cells in his heart. It's hard to believe that he has any stem cells in his heart, but they're there. And, and actually, they're slowly regenerating his tissue. So how do we control that innate regenerative uh, potential? And that's what this slide is all about. It turns out if you want to do tissue engineering, you need to know about these lineage pathways that make cartilage or bone or muscle or tendon. So your ear cartilage, your nose cartilage, your throat cartilage, your sternal cartilage, your hip cartilage, your knee cartilage, your ankle cartilage, all different. You give me a slide, I can tell you which one of those cartilages you have. So how you come down this lineage pathway into those different phenotypes will determine your success or failure as a tissue engineer. For innate regenerative potential, the top of this slide is the important thing. It's the stem cell, the mesenchymal stem cell at the top, and what it can do, uh, which is the most important parameter. And I'm gonna, so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the end of the lecture now, so that for the older members of the audience, if you need to take a nap, wait five minutes, uh, listen to the end of the story, because the end of the story Will, will tell you actually how you have to think about these cells because the, the story has changed over the years. So this is, uh, you have to memorize this. All MSCs are pericytes. They sit on every single blood vessel in your body. When you look at all of these scanning EMs of different 
vessels, every one of them has pericytes on it, and depending on where that vessel is in your body, the pericytes take on different morphologies. They function in exactly the same way, and they function when uh, there's injury. The pericyte comes off, and that pericyte then turns into a, an MSC. That MSC becomes activated. The activated MSC at that particular site secretes two classes of molecules. One class uh, are immunoregulatory. They put a curtain in front of the cell. This is not systemic. This is local. They put a curtain and immune surveying cells cannot get through that curtain. So it's your first line of defense against autoimmune reactions. It's what you set up because when you injure a tissue, you you liberate new antigens. And so these nosy T cells want to get at those new antigens. And the, the activated MSC puts up this curtain. And, and I'll show you why that's important for clinical use in a minute. Secondly, they produce from the backside molecules which I call trophic, which are anti-apoptotic. So you break a blood vessel, you have ischemia, cells die of ischemia. The MSC put, produces molecules, I'll show you what these molecules are, that stop the cell from apoptosing due to ischemia. They, they're anti-scarring. The cells that come in that produce huge amounts of scar tissue, the MSC puts out molecules that inhibit their entrance and inhibit their secretion of, of uh, type 1 collagen. They're angiogenic. The MSCs make huge amounts of VEGF, uh, but also these new fragile capillaries, the MSCs come and become pericytes again and stabilize those vessels, angiogenic. And they're mitotic for stem cells, as we're here, cardiac stem cells are, the MSCs cause them to divide in areas of injury and actually repopulate sites where other cells have, have died. So immunomodulatory trophic that's what MSCs do. And so, um, since I invented this name, MSCs, of course my delicate ego, I want, I want to keep, everybody needs to keep calling them MSCs, but what they do in your body has nothing whatsoever to do with stemness. These are medicinal signaling cells. These are drug stores for sites of injury. They function at these sites to do this immunomodulatory and trophic activity. So MSC, keep calling them MSCs, please. It's required for my ego. But they're not doing stem cell function when they're doing these activities. It has nothing to do with stem cells. I'll come back to that. 